A long and difficult battle has come to a disappointing end for Sue Rodriguez. The woman from British Columbia has lost her court fight for the right to have a doctor help her kill herself. The Supreme Court of Canada has ruled against her request for a doctor-assisted suicide. Four of the justices, including the Chief Justice, agreed with Rodriguez. Five of the nine justices ruled that an individual's right to a dignified death does not override the sanctity of life under the law. And therefore, Sue Rodriguez was denied the legal right to a doctor-assisted suicide. If my suffering was being afflicted upon me in any other context, it would be called an abuse of human rights and might well be called a crime. But because it happens in the name of modern medicine, I'm supposed to accept whatever indignities my illness inflicts upon me and keep quiet. What we really had there was someone who was finding their situation meaningless, was frightened by the loss of control, and was not focusing on hope for the future. struck down the laws that criminalize physician-assisted dying, and she found that there were violations of Section 7, the right to life, liberty, and security of the person, and that the laws also violated the Section 15 equality rights. One of the things, and I'll always remember this about Madam Justice Smith, and if I ever become a judge, I will always remember it, because in lots of decisions, you have to get to the end to find out what the answer is, and she put it in the first paragraph. Just before Christmas in 2009, I was diagnosed with ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It was the most devastating day of my life. My body is weak and tired and I'm in pain all the time. My arms are weak and I can barely lift or reach up for things. I'm dying piece by piece and I'm asking the mercy of the courts to allow me the right to die with dignity. It is cruel and inhumane to force me or any other Canadian to suffer a prolonged death. When someone has a serious medical condition, if they meet certain criteria and they ask to die, they may qualify for an assisted death. You also need to have what's called a grievous and irremediable condition. In order to have a grievous and irremediable condition, you must meet five other criteria. You need to have a serious medical illness, disease, or disability that puts you in an advanced state of declining capability that is considered irreversible by any means acceptable to you that's causing you suffering that you deem intolerable and that your natural death is in the foreseeable future. Your healthcare representative cannot make this request on your behalf. This is patient-centered, patient-driven care. Just as importantly, you need to have a serious medical condition and its impact on you and your ability to function needs to be advanced. Physically, the decline was, was significant and she wasn't able to do things that she really cared about. Um, she couldn't get out of bed by herself. Uh, she couldn't go to the bathroom by herself. 